2020. Win together. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. Here we go. This is the second game tonight, and it is going to be a beauty, this one. The Gore Gladiators versus Dambulla Viking. Match number 17. And it's going to be fascinating to watch because the Gladiators played really nicely last, last time around. And at the toss, the Viking side won the toss and elected to bowl first. And I've got Rashan Abbasinger alongside me to uh, just have a look at the teams and also let us know uh, the changes. Yes, some interesting changes. Four changes, obviously, experiments done by the uh, Double Viking. The name Kavinu Nadisha, and that's a new name. He plays for the CCC. Paul Sterling, Upul Taranga, Sudeep Tiagi is well known, but I'm very interested to look at Kavindu Nadishan, the right arm leg spinner. And of course, Gold Gladiators, they have no changes. They'll be wanting to continue that winning momentum. This is that look, uh, this is the look of the double Viking side. Kavindu Nadishan will be the player to watch. Unknown quantity, but he's known to be a fairly decent leg spinner. Gold Gladiators vastly improved in their last game than the one before that. Suddenly they clicked in the gear, they had a couple of star performers. Mohamed Amir certainly won, picking up five for not too many. He was uh, simply magnificent. That has been hammered away for four. That's a wonderful way to start. That looks like a bloke who looks in pretty good form. He's got that through as well this time. Backward a square. Back to back boundaries to start. That's very tidy. Picked up. Oh, he's picked a gap too. That's gone for four. So the boundaries are coming early in the over. It's gone finer and that's gone for four as well. That's gone through the gate in the end and filled it by the Gold Gladiator team. Oh, that's beautifully bold. That might be out. It is out. He's picked up a wicket. That is a magnificent delivery. Just a little bit of curve back in towards the batsman. That is outstanding. He's got his line perfect, perfect there. The ball's just swung back, and that would have hit the middle of middle really really nice that is that's his stock delivery i think he was just a little bit nervous early on but he got it right brilliant stuff so 33 for one now goal good connection there's no one down there we saw some room and that is through that is superbly played. Oh, that's hammered. That is hammered through extra cover for four. That is a magnificent shot. Trying to take out our buggy. Oh, he's picked that up. That is an outstanding shot. That really is magnificent. Oh, that's really clever. That is really clever. That's gone for four as well. Chase is on, but couldn't stop it. Going with the momentum, taking on the ballers, hey, come on, hey, come and on, producing hey. yet another. There he goes again, this time straight up, and it goes all the way hey, for a six. Effortless, wasn't it? Nicely used the angle. Once again, a boundary in the over. Yes. One. Gone. Gave himself room, but just couldn't get underneath it. Ramesh Mindy strikes. Well, the idea was good. To aim that uh, area over extra cover, but not the execution. Picked up Raja Paksha for 31. It's 83 for two. Appeal, a loud appeal. Unmove the umpire. Will they review? Yep, they do. Here we go. Beautifully bowled again. Yeah! Three reds. And loud cheers in the middle. Back to back wickets. 
Azam Khan getting a golden duck. He'll be dejected. Not the baller though. It's 83 for three. Nick Dungon. It's another one. They're crumbling now to the Tilika. Feeling the pressure by losing wickets around him. Now it's his time. He has to depart. Uh, how many times we have seen this? A set batsman getting out on a poor delivery. It was ordinary. It was short. It was wide. And the form, Gonathalika is, is in. It should have disappeared towards the fence. Wasn't the case. Only managing an outside edge. Once again, getting a few runs for his side. 46. And it's 90 for four now. What a way to get off the mark. This is not good for the Gold Gladiators because they need Chadwick Walton to keep going. And in pushing for that second, he's done a hamstring. Well, Walton's off. That's another wicket, effectively. So the Dumbula Viking, they're chipping away. They're chipping away and they're getting big fish. That's away. Bit of escorting and that's gone for four. That's a nice way to finish that over. picked up and it might have picked out the fielder he has picked him out perfectly that's exactly what they didn't want at this stage they wanted that partnership to continue for some time it didn't even get to 20 it's a little bit of good fortune for Dumbulla Viking but they will take that sorry young man we put markers on you sorry that was an outstanding shot picked it off the pads and it was flying gone for nine all Gladiators 1, 22 for 5. Dun and, Dun and Jaya Lakshan is the uh, next man in. That's up. Beautiful so use of the feet. Nice striking. Shan Jasuri is really looking to express himself. That's another boundary. Premeditation. Good outcome here. A my 11 circle champion shot. Now this one was full. And it goes long and all the way for six. Well, it doesn't have the distance. A fielder settles and takes the catch. Well, at a time when the Gold Gladiators needed a good finish, that's the back of the hand delivery, hardly any pace on the ball. He was looking to go more mid-wicket, eventually holding out to long on. This is a big blow. Mistake on the part of Jaya Surya when he had to stay to the end. Anyway, he did play a good hand, 39 of 27, 148 for six. Fully executed Lakshan just taking over from Jaya Surya. Bold him. Was the right line. He was searching for the Yorker. It went full. Well, will Chadwick Walton come in? I think I saw him in pads. Or is it just that he has removed his pads? I don't know. But it's a full toss. It was a high full toss. Just hitting the top of the stumps, and well, Mohammad Amir should be disappointed. It was more or less like a gift, which he couldn't connect. Amir doesn't go out for naught. 156 for seven. On the full, gets it fine. 
It's hit the rope on the full. Slow delivery. Line with the stumps, and they will get two. Comfortable in the end. 12 runs from the last over. Gold Gladiators will be quite pleased with this effort. They had a good start, and then they lost it a bit in the middle. But they've managed to hold on and produce a respectable total. 168 for seven. We've just witnessed the first half of this uh, match. Gold Gladiators with the bat. Their captain, Raja Paksa, getting 31 and had a good partnership with Gunatilika, who top scored with 46 yet again, showing good form with the bat. So Anjaya Surya was also very good, struck 39 from 27. And when you felt that the Gold Gladiators will not get close to 160, they did. Kasan Rajita, very impressive, 12 dot. 12 dot balls in it in his spell. Ramesh Mendes, two for 28. Very, very good as well. Dustin Shanaka, two for 38. And nice to see Dulshan Marashanka get a run. One for 24. And for the second half, the Viking, well, they will have to chase 169 if they are to win this one. Sterling is on his knees already. And he comes now. Haven't seen the best of him so far. So he'll be keen to uh, get his team on the right path. Right for the word go, and he's got uh, Dick Weller alongside him as well, who uh, has played some really good knocks so far. Here we go. Oh, he's got him. That is an absolute beauty. That is a classic left armers delivery. A seamer running in like that, getting it to hoop back in, Ooh. is a handful for anyone. You can see that angle towards the slips and then suddenly straighten. Hits middle stump. Paul Sterling gone. Dumbledore Viking, not for one. Oh, it's gone through the field and it's going to go for four. No way, no way, no way. That's fine, and it's also four. Cries of catch it. I think that's going to go in between the two of them. It does one bounce and it goes for four. Looks red given. Given. Upul Taranga can't believe it. He's saying it's high. He wants the Queller's feedback. Looked very, very straight. Went torn with the arm. He wants the review. Upul Taranga. And it's hitting. I'm afraid it's umpire's call. Upul Taranga gone. He made nine. Dumbula Viking, 23 for two. Well, it's a freebie first ball. It's exactly what he shouldn't get. Another full toss, and he's put that away for four as well. What is going on here? Four. Oh, that's a terrific connection. That's gone away. One bounce, four. That's really well played. You've got to hit the wicket to get it to turn, unfortunately. Danushka bowling another another full toss and going for, for four. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Head time. Down the wicket and punch through extra cover. No way, no way, boy, no way. Over extra cover. Six. Elbow, 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 elbow. Both these batsmen been busy, but it's been broken. And the big wicket of Niroshan Dikwala and the catcher also a Lakshan. Lakshan Sandake. So wickets the way forward for the gold gladiators. Niroshan Dikwala goes. 38. He scored 76 for three. Oh! <laughs> 
Stifle appeal by the bowler. Finger goes up. And the batsman reviews. Might just be a crucial moment in this match. Pitches in line. Hitting as well. Very good decision by the umpire. Wasn't a convincing appeal. But the result is a good one for the Gold Gladiators. He played well for 45. It's 100 for four. Miss hit. A very good catch. Brilliant catch. I always believe running back, ball falling over your shoulder. Oh, that was brilliant. He also slipped in the process. That's what Shanak out for nine. Beautifully played. Oh, that's fine. That's what they needed. Nice and fine. And that's gone for four. Oh, that's a big shot. That really is a big shot. That's a great way to start the over. My goodness me, that is perfect. Oh, they want one. They want one. Oh, he's gone. Got him. Oh, no. What a mix up that is. That is a massive wicket in the context of the game. Massive wicket. Oh, wow. Did our dick. He's nailed it. He's nailed it. Gone for 11. 128 for 6. That's strong down the ground. Has that gone all the way? It has. That's a wonderful way to finish that over. Well, that's hard. Hit hard. Just the one. Oh, no. That's an error. Oh, no. I can't believe that happened. Neither can the bowler. Slap that of extra cover. There's always runs there. That's gone for four. Full toss. He's got that away as well. Not where he wanted to, but he'll bank that. He won't mind. That's another boundary. Slow delivery pulled. And has it gone? Yes, it has. That is a beauty. That is a wonderful shot. Full toss, swept away. Is that four? It is four. That's beautifully played. Run a ball now. Run a ball needed. Catch it! Cries of catch it. Should be out. Oh, it's through the hands and it's gone for four. Wow, their fielding has uh, gone pear shaped, that's for sure. Last ball. Oh, it's a freebie. My goodness. That is a very ordinary delivery. Yes, the ball's a little bit slippery, but disappointment there. Terrific stuff from Dumbulla Viking. They've got up and won this one. Celebrations on the sidelines. It was a bit of a topsy-turvy game, but in the end, Dumbulla Viking win by four wickets. Disappointment for the Gore Gladiators. And if we have a look at the match summary, the Gore Gladiators, 168 for seven. It was a pretty good effort to get to that in the end. Gunatelica was the uh, the pick of the batsman, but just have a look at those scores. 46, 39, 31, 23 not out. They're not match-winning scores. You've got to get the big scores and the big totals, which wins games. And then the Viking, 174 for six, 46 for a bit similar as well also. Uh, chasing down with a wet ball can be a little bit uh, easier. And in the end, the Dumbulla Viking won by four wickets. Dumbulla Viking have gone to number one. They've got 11 points, so that's a really good performance. They'll be so pleased with that. The Stallions at number two, the Kings at three, Canny Tuskers at number four, Gold Gladiators at number five. Look at the points, two to Gold Gla Go Gladiators, four to Canny Tuskers. Then look at the net run rate. So it's quite clear that tomorrow Gold Gladiators have got to beat Canny Tuskers, but they've got to beat them pretty well because of the net run rate. That's got to be an improvement. The net run rate's got to improve to make sure they get up and, uh, and beat Tuskers to go to number four spot to qualify for the semi-finals.